Oh, so I've been trying to make it one of my goals for this summer and spring. We've been talking about being more productive, about using my time better. I've been trying to wake up at 6 in the morning every single day. This is the 10th day in a row that I've done it. And the first day that I don't feel absolutely exhausted. Let's go for a run. What is up guys? Today is Monday, Monday morning, April 30th. It's crazy to think that April is over tomorrow. It just completely flew by. But if you guys follow the sneaker release dates, you know that April 30th means there's a pair of shoes coming out. The Tinker Jordan 3s, which originally came out a month, a month and a half ago, something like that, are restocking for whatever reason. I'm not really sure why, but Jordan Brand decided to put them back out again, and they're re-releasing them at 11 in the morning today. It's, it's around 9.30 right now, so I wanted to come by Livestock to see how many people were out, camped out, trying to get them, and I don't think they're as hyped up anymore as they were. I bought my pair on release day. I ended up selling them just because I got an offer that was more than what I paid and they released in an hour and a half and literally no one is lined up. Weird. I find that pretty bizarre how no one is actually lined up for those shoes. I mean like I get it's a restock of a shoe that lots of people already have but people line up for every single sneaker release at Livestock like there's always people there. And I get it's a Monday and the store doesn't open up till 11, so lots of people have job or school or whatever the case may be. I'm still very confused why no one's there. I'm gonna head back there at 11 o'clock. I didn't really wanna stand there for an hour and a half and I'm gonna see if there's anyone lined up at 11. I feel like there must be, but we still have like an hour to kill until then. So I'll see you at 11. Okay, there's some people here now, but still not a ton of people. I, like, I get it's a restock and I get it's a Monday. I'm picking up a size 10, 10 and a half for my friend. I think we should be good. All right, so that was really easy to buy and I was just scrolling through Twitter and it seems like no one wants these shoes and I, I don't really know why. I mean, the first time they released, I had to camp out from two in the morning. I barely got my pair. The guy like two spots behind me in line was a size 12 and I think there's only one size 12 and everyone was really excited about them and I, I looked at them and I, I, I did like the pair of shoes. I like the pair of shoes, don't get me wrong, but I looked at them and I said, do I really need this pair of shoes? It costs $299.45 after tax and I could probably sell it for $50, $60 profit. This is Canadian prices, of course, they don't cost $299 in the States. And I was like, you know what, let's sell these. And I sold them to someone in Toronto. I made like $40 profit, he got a pair of shoes and now they released again and it's looking like no one really wants them and it's so weird. Uh, I, I got the size 10, this is for my friend, so he's just gonna pay me back retail and we're gonna be all good. And they're really easy to get. I showed up three minutes before the store opened. I just sat there for a little bit. They look, in, okay, they look a lot nicer in a size 10. I don't know why. They look a lot nicer in a size 10. I, I really don't understand why these shoes aren't more hyped. Like, I get they re-release and there's a lot of pairs of them out there now. Except look at this freaking pair of shoes. This is a sick pair of shoes. The concept of these is really, really cool as well. The fact that this is like the original sketch of the Jordan 3 I think is a super awesome concept. And just really good execution. The materials are not bad at all. The leather is actually pretty good. I really dig the colorway. It's black, it's red, it's white, it's gray, it's classic, it's Jordan. It's a Tinker Hatfield PE pretty much. You got Tinker Hatfield signature on the, the hang tag here, I almost said on the swoosh. And then you do have the swoosh right there, which is a crazy touch for a pair of Jordan 3s to have that swoosh on it. I really think it looks like the Flight 89. I was talking to someone else in line and he was saying the same thing. These are super easy to grab. I mean, like, there was lots of people there. They still sold out, don't get me wrong. They still sold out. There was probably 30 people there by the time it opened, but I showed up three minutes before it opened, and I got the size that I wanted to get and walked out the door just like that. And I don't think they're reselling for that much anymore. Maybe they're going for around probably 240 US. I think retail would have been 200 US. Maybe 220, I think it was 200. I'm honestly not 100% sure. If you can honestly get these for retail, I'd say go for it. Like, why not? Why would you not get these for retail? I think this is a sick pair of shoes, but apparently no one likes it. Everyone on Twitter is being like, yeah, I got them, but I just bought them to sell, or they're listing them up right away for like $5 profit. And I don't understand why people do that. Like, I know me, 
As a YouTuber, if I had the chance to buy a pair of shoes that I knew people would want to see and I would want to check out and sell it for a $10 loss, I would consider doing that because I could make profit from the video. But if your only way of getting profit is from buying the shoe and selling it and you're making five bucks, I don't understand why people do that. Like it's just really, they're not thinking. They take away the shoe from someone else that wants to buy them. And then they put themselves through such a hassle to try and sell the pair of shoes to make what, five bucks? Yay, you get a six inch Subway sandwich, right? Like what was the point of doing that? I'm happy I was able to get these. I think my friend's gonna be happy with these as well. I'm gonna go bring these by his place probably tonight and he will see what he thinks of them and he will hopefully enjoy them and wear them a lot. Uh, I, I sorta of wish I kept my pair but at the same time got like 360 bucks for them so I'm definitely not complaining you know that pays for some of my camera obviously I bought a new camera so I'm trying to pay for that and the lens completely by selling sneakers pays for some traveling and all of that good stuff so really 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 can't complain with all of that I like these what do you guys think of them let me know down in the comment section below that being said I'm probably gonna let you guys go right here I don't want to keep you for too long today for all you guys that love the longer videos trust me tomorrow's vlog is going to be much longer much more exciting and all of that wonderful stuff. So I will see you then with a brand new video. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Take it easy. Have a good rest of your day. I love you. Follow me on Instagram as well. Make sure to do that. Tom Stefaniak. For all you guys watching at the end. I completely forgot about this. I literally just remembered this right now. I'm going to be posting the rare pair Yeezy raffle ticket giveaway for the $100,000 pair of Yeezys that Kanye West himself has worn. I'm going to be posting that on Instagram today. So for you guys that are following me, if you're not following me, go follow me at Tom Stefaniak and comment. I want the Yeezys on the post that I'm putting up today. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'll see you soon. And until then, peace.